Well, hey, 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 good looking. You want to see what we have cooking today in my kitchen? Well, grab a hold of that vine and swing out of my kitchen and let's get cooking. Good looking. Today, I'm going to sit there and show you just how easy it is to make beef brisket tahikos. So go ahead, grab all that vine, and let's get cooking. Good looking. Today, we're going to be food banking a whole bunch of these beef brisket tahikos. Well, what does one do when one has leftover beef brisket? Well, of course, we make beef tahikos. I stocked the freezer for the upcoming summer months to make some real easy meals for us on them hot summer days where you really just, you know, need a little something, something, but not a lot. So with that all being said, let's go ahead and let's get started. I have some cooked up beef brisket back here. I have some shredded up cheddar cheese and provolone cheese and I have some flour tortillas. Now I'm going to get a tortilla shell out and we're also going to mix up some of the cheese with the leftover beef brisket. So I'm going to grab some of this cheese mixture and we're going to dump some of it all into the bowl here and we're going to mix it all up with the beef brisket. I'll be back as soon as I'm all done mixing. Now I have it all mixed up and I set it off to the side over here. I have flour tortilla right here and now we're just gonna sit there and grab some of the mixture and if I bump the camera, I'm gonna sit there and apologize right now. I do not mean to bump the camera, but I'm notorious for it. I admit it. I'm a camera bumper. Okay, just a little bit more. And I'm trying to get photobombed here. But we're not going to let that happen. No, 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 no. Now that's not me bumping the camera that time. No, 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 baby. Okay. Hold on. I got to sit there and adjust my camera just a little bit. Okay, now, as you see, I put it down towards this edge. We're going to squeeze it all together, roll it up tightly as such, and air fryer basket, and we're going to sit there and put it seam side down. Right here, this would be seam side down, so you would put it just as such inside of the air fryer basket. Here's my air fryer basket and we're just gonna lay them down like I said seam side down. I'm gonna finish rolling up the last of them and we'll be back to air fry them all up. And there you go as you see I have them on the bottom of my air fryer and now I'm just going to sit there and lightly just spray them. And we're going to set them in the air fryer. And I have it set at 350. And we're just going to brown and crisp these up. And I'll end up having to probably turn them over and crisp up the other side. So I'm going to try five minutes and I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to check up on these and I'll probably end up having to flip them but I'll be bringing you along. Okay, the air fryer just went off. Oh yeah. So I'm going to go ahead, flip these over, cook the other side to be just as crispy as this side and you can eat as you see, I flipped them, and now let's go ahead and put them back in and fry them up on this side. With the summer months coming up, you're going to have to sit there and make a lot of these and food bank them yourself. They make excellent snacks 
for the kiddos in the summer months are an excellent lunch and they're great for binge watching. Now there you go, beef taquitos. So if you liked what you saw here today, give me a big old thumbs up. If you're a new subscriber to my channel, hey, welcome. And if you're not a subscriber yet, go ahead. Hit that subscribe button, tap that little bell, that way you always be notified every time I do put out a new video. And most of all, I want to thank each and every one of you for taking the time to watch my video and help support my channel here. And y'all come back now, you hear?